Hello and welcome to Building Sheriff DIY Tips and Tricks, DIY Like a Pro. Right, this is a Route 1 simple, simple video. Um, very quickly, I do these whilst uh, I'm at work. This is a real job. I'm doing some decking. Customer's gone out, so I'll do it quickly before the rain comes and before the customer comes back and wonders what on earth I'm doing with two cameras in the garden. Anyway, we are going to drill through some timber with a four inch screw. So I've leveled this timber up. I've chalked it up either end so that, uh, so that it's level. Um, and it's a very, very simple process. Two inch timber will need a four inch screw. Now, I have a simple solution for every single type of screwing event. Anytime I'm doing this, I have my seven mil bit, which takes a brown plug, which is seven mil, which takes a 100 mil screw, four inch, 10. And that takes a PZ2 bit. So uh, basically this is my drilling through wall kit. So I never change it, that's always in my box. Now look what I've done on this. I've put some tape around the drill bit. Why is that? It's a depth guide. If you have a look, we've basically got the four inches and five, six mil extra. So that when that hits the timber, we know that we've gone in far enough. I could fix the drill bit there, there, there. It doesn't really matter as long as I get a good fixing. But what you need to do is look at the brick courses and make sure that you are not drilling into a mortar course. That's crumbly, often there are pockets of air behind it. So you need to be drilling into the body of the brick so that I know that that's on my mortar course here, therefore inch and a half down, that'll be right into the brick. Okay, let's drill the hole. Standard electric drill, hammer drill with my bit in place. Offer it up, make sure we're nice and square that way and square that way. Another quick bit. You've got to go through this timber. You could go through with a wood bit and then, you know, drill to the end. And once you get to the masonry, come in with a masonry bit. But you'll find all builders will just use this on hammer. Off we go. Now, you can drill in one, but you're best off drawing it back lightly and clearing the grooves of the dust. In we go again. And as you see, we stop when my gauge hits the timber. Right, you may be asking, how are we going to get the plug in behind there now that we've drilled through? Do we have to take the timber away? Well, no, you don't. Grab your plug, push it into the hole, because that's a seven mil hole and seven mil plug. Get your hammer out. Tap that home. Okay, so you've tapped your plug in, but obviously the plug there is the same depth as the timber, so it's not in yet. How do we get that in? Well, very simple. Take your screw, offer it in, and just wind it with your hand a couple of times. Next, get your hammer and tap it home. So you're tapping the screw, which is pushing the plug, which is putting that into the hole. When you feel it bite, there you go. That's obviously gone all the way in. The plug has gone right into the hole. That's that distance, you then bring out your cordless. As I said, PZ2, POSI2. If you want to know how to use a cordless drill, go to my how to use a cordless drill, which is here. Click the link to there. And this is very simple. So we stick it onto one, there we go, which is low torque, or high torque, sorry, low setting, high torque, and off we go. So apply the pressure evenly through there and you'll see that has bitten right in there and I can even, I can stamp on that.
and that that will take my weight if you like these tips and tricks please subscribe to my youtube channel diy like a pro with the building sheriff that could be found down here or go to our website which is www.buildingsheriff.com Thank <music> you.